What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here and welcome to a long lost episode of Beauty and the Beast. I am the Beast and the Beauty is here with me. She has stepped away from her home duties, taking care of kids, homeschooling, and college to talk about something special with me. PlayStation VR. Say hello. <laughs> I was never given a name. <laughs> We're office fans. Um, so, What's up? So we just went to GameStop. Uh, about a mile or two, maybe three or four miles from our house. Uh, I made a video last week for everybody to take a look at so you guys could see exactly where you can go to play PlayStation VR. And this is something that I've known about for a few days. I didn't get a chance to play it on the 23rd. That was the first day that it was going to be uh, really revealed and, and out at 300 locations for people to just go to Best Buys and GameStops and play. And so today we are at Walmart about two hours ago. Yeah. And we were getting our stuff and we were walking out to the car and I said, hey, we should uh, go home, get the kids, and we should go out and try PlayStation VR. And we decided to do that because that's the kind of family we are, right? Totally. And so we went to the local area GameStop. They were doing a show today from what time they, they were going to stop? It was like 11 to 4.30. 11 to 4.30, but they actually were going to run it till 5 today. We called them to make sure they were doing it and we went on to play PlayStation VR. Unfortunately, my sons had to leave and go with their mother, so they got fucked out of the deal. But I did take the girls and, and the wifey with me. Uh, I got to play. I could have played more, but there was more people in line. It wasn't a huge line either. Yeah, that's surprising because I there thought There was it would like be three packed. people in line. So, I mean, I, it's a rainy day here in Georgia, and so I'm thinking that may have something to do with it. But I got to play E Valkyrie on PlayStation VR. Kate got to play Into the Deep on PlayStation VR or experience that game. I don't know if I'd say play that. Yeah. But I want to talk about our experiences and let you guys know whether or not we think PlayStation VR, based on this singular experience, is going to be worth buying. So, when I first put on the PlayStation VR headset, I uh, was immediately transported into the cockpit of a ship. Um, and for me, I got a big oversized head, so I had to kind of do a little bit of adjustments to make sure that I could see clearly because if, if the headset wasn't in the right place, things started to look a little blurry. But once you find that spot everything is crystal clear the same way it is on a television and uh, I was looking around I looked down at my body I could see the body of myself in the cockpit I was looking around I was inside of a corridor basically getting ready to be jettisoned out into space to partake in this war and so I was hearing uh, you know the, the in-game character talking to me telling me what I need to do and all of a sudden the door opened and the jets my I guess my exhaust started to blaze behind me and I went shooting out into space and man the immersion was fucking incredible. It felt like you were really like there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, there was many times during this demonstration where I was like taken aback because you immediately you forget so quickly that you're actually sitting in the middle of a GameStop at a booth surrounded by people. You really feel like you're in a different world, and that's exactly how I felt. Uh, the the controls for the game weren't the typical first-person shooter controls, or even first person driving mechanic type of control controls they didn't really explain much but i did figure out how to move around and start shooting and locking on to characters and shooting missiles but the the whole uh the feeling of immersion kind of blew my mind because everywhere you could see you could go and so i saw these giant ships all teleport into uh my range and they were enemy ships of course their smaller uh fighter ships were marked with red i started following these guys around uh, locking onto them, hitting them with missiles, shooting just regular ammunition at them, watching them explode. And it was a great experience. Uh, and I don't know exactly what uh, this game will entail fully, but this demonstration at least definitely got me excited about PlayStation VR. I was really shocked at how comfortable this thing felt. A little disappointed that the VR headset doesn't have its own built-in headphones for you to hear. Yeah, if it doesn't, separate. you have to, I mean, I have the PlayStation uh, Gold headset, the same one that they used during the demonstration, but I would much rather them have had its own proprietary headset built in or at least earbuds built on, but you can, of course, hear the sound coming directly from the TV. And uh, after massive explosions and watching these giant ships explode around me, when they were exploding around me, it gets to a point in the demo where these giant ships that you're buying start exploding and you feel like you're going to get caught up in the explosion because they were so damn big and massive. Did you guys see that on the screen? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we saw There was two big, huge explosions. That I, when one happened, I turned around immediately and tried to get away, and then I almost ran right into another one. And then the, the demonstration ended. But it was super, super uh, engaging. To me, the immersion was unbelievable. 
uh, with the PlayStation Gold headset, you can't hear a thing uh, other than the game. And so it just, I felt like I was in that world. I took it off and I just looked around like, oh my God, I'm back here. And that's exactly the feeling that I had after playing it. And so after I got up, my wife came over and, and you got to play Into the Deep. Yeah. Which is more of... Um, you don't you don't control anything. It does it all for you. All right. So walk these beautiful people listening to Beauty and the Beast through what you did and how you experienced it and what you thought afterwards. Um, well, I, I went into this just thinking like, okay, I'm going to see some fish and I know there's a shark. I didn't... I didn't think it would feel as real as being like in the ocean like when you see like the fish and the stingrays and all that it's cool to look and you get to see them and you can look all around you but when the shark came and it came up at in front of you and then it swam away you had to I had to look around to find it I, I needed to know where it was because I was scared of it coming back I didn't want it to just pop up out of nowhere but I knew it was fake but it's still like when it tore the door off like it scared me i jumped back i think i screamed We're, okay so let me ask you a question as you sat there playing this game looking at this game looking at the the immersion did you feel immersed in the sea did you really feel like you were in the sea uh i did but since we had to sit down the whole time i think it would have been way better if i could stand up and right, do it right. because being in the cage like you're sitting in the cage you don't get to go near the edge and look over i couldn't really like the lady she wouldn't let us stand up yeah and they wouldn't let people underage play either but when you were in that world looking at that world graphically were you impressed because for the last few months at least we've heard in the, the gaming arena video game pundits say that the playstation vr is considerably underpowered compared to the competition like oculus and like the htc vive which of course are powered by top end high end pcs now when i was playing uh e valkyrie i was pleasantly surprised and how the game looked. The way I felt was what we saw at PlayStation Experience 2015 was what we were going to get out of PlayStation VR. Yeah, I was super depressed about that. And so when we saw some of these PlayStation Experience games last year, they looked really underwhelming to me. It wasn't something I was really excited about at all. But playing E Valkyrie and seeing on the screen what you were seeing, I was pleasantly surprised. I was actually fairly shocked at how great the games look considering what we had been told. And kind of what they showed us last year at PlayStation VR. Were you surprised by this game compared to maybe uh, some of the stuff that you saw last year at PlayStation Experience? Yeah, this is definitely better than what they showed last year. And for being VR and for being the first games on VR, they look great. I mean, this is just the first run of games. You can only imagine how better it's going to get. Yeah, I mean, of course, like we see like stuff like the Resident Evil demo that, I, that you showed. I can't wait to play that. Yeah, so for me... After playing this, guys, and actually playing a game, Kate didn't really get a chance to play a game. She was more in a immersive just, type of experience. Yeah, just, yeah. But I actually got to play a game and see how it felt, and 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 actually, you know, articulate the controller and move around, and it all worked flawlessly. I felt like I was in a spaceship. I felt like I was in outer space. I felt like all these big things are happening around me. And for VR, for me, the immersion factor is what's going to sell it. And in my personal opinion, after playing PlayStation VR today, which was June 26, 2016, I am a believer of PlayStation VR. I am totally uh, smitten with it. I, I, I am excited for what it's going to be in the future. Uh, and I was just totally impressed by playing it today. And uh, if you guys have any questions, there'll be a link in the description for you guys to check your local area game stops and best buys to see when they're going to actually have these demonstrations available as of right now they're only available on weekends that's why we decided to go out there and brave this crazy thunderstorm to go out and play it today it was worth it yeah it was really bad the power was out over here in my neighborhood and everything this really bad thunderstorm here in atlanta but we went out there and we played it and it was great and they're doing it on the weekends supposedly i don't know about best buy but i know gamestop is only on the weekends I think, I think Best Buy might be too. I didn't get your personal opinion, and I want to get that before we leave, Kate. Do you think that the experience you had today is enough to sell the traditional person on PlayStation VR? How do you feel about it after actually experiencing it now? Um, I mean, if somebody, like, because I didn't get to control anything like you did. So if they could try a couple demos, I think they would definitely want to purchase this. And especially, like, 
games like the Resident Evil coming out is going to be amazing, I think. It, especially with VR. Because it'll just change the whole world of, of what the gamer gets to do and be immersed in the world and like physically kinda you know instead of just looking at a screen well that's our thoughts on it guys uh, I, I would say that I have nothing but positive things to say about it at this point uh, until something bad happens if something bad happens PlayStation VR is pretty damn impressive I'm totally surprised by it and, and very uh, intrigued by the future of what this new technology has to offer and, and brings to the gamers. It looks like everybody's moving in this direction. Uh, Xbox is going to be uh, functioning with the Oculus Rift in the future. Uh, and, and PlayStation, of course, has PlayStation VR, and I think it's going to be great for everybody. You guys let us know what you think in the comments. Have you been able to try PlayStation VR, or Oculus, or HTC Vive? If you tried PlayStation in particular, PlayStation VR, let me know what your experience was and if it was as good as the ones that we had. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We know it's been a long time since we've gotten together and talked about gaming together in the, Be the Beauty and the Beast segment of uh, the Beastly Gamer channel. My wife's been very, very busy. What do you, what do, you do with all your time? What, do you, what makes you so busy? I keep you alive. Yeah, she's got a good point. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'm Kate. And we'll see you guys next time.